Hey YouTube, Derek Zan here. Today we're going to be cooking uh, spinach plus baby kale. I get this bag at HEB, it's about $2.90 and it's got pre-washed spinach and baby kale. Now, I like baby kale because it uh, tends to be a little bit, little bit sweeter than the uh, curly kale that you get. Let's go ahead and open this here. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, preheated my wok. You can use a pan if you like, but I like the wok because of the space. And I'm going to put just a little bit of... I'm using safflower oil. Now, I like safflower oil. It's a good alternative to the other unhealthy oils that are out there. We had originally been looking for it because we were looking for a conjugated linoleic acid, which as you know can help you burn fat and lose weight. But the safflower oil that is cooking safe has oleic acid, and it's not quite the same thing, but it's still pretty good for you. Safflower oil also has a very high heat point, which means that it's good for frying and things like that. So, if you get a chance, you should take a look at it. Now, I had my pan heating up already. I'm going to go ahead and turn it down now that it's hot to about medium heat. And this much, I know it looks like a lot, but it's going to cook down into just about maybe like a bowl full, a plate full. So don't be afraid to add it. And you know, when you cook fresh greens like this, don't think of it in terms of uh, it has to be down touching the heat or it has to stay beneath the rim of the pan because like I said, apply a little bit of heat and it will cook down. So, I'm going to go ahead and stir that. Now, the safflower oil is coating green and that's helping it to, to cook down well, a little quicker. And I'm just going to keep stirring it so I'm not burning anything. Now, a little background really quick on kale. One cup of kale contains 200% your daily value of vitamin A. And uh, getting vitamin A in your diet is really good for counteracting cataracts, believe it or not. K is for kale, and it's also for vitamin K. Kale has a lot of vitamin K as well. And vitamin K is four of the 13 proteins that are required for clotting. So, if you have a problem with blood clotting, or thinning blood, kale could be your solution. The spinach, I really love spinach. I'm adding just a little bit more safflower oil here. Spinach is known for being high in iron. But kale actually has way more iron. But I'm adding it to the kale just to give it a little bit better flavor. Okay, now the kale's starting to get a little wet. I can see it, it's starting to look very kind of slimy. So I'm going to turn my heat down even further. And I'm going to add a little bit of Kikoman soy sauce. If you prefer, you can use the low sodium form. I prefer the regular. Well, depends on what I'm cooking. Then I'm going to take a little bit of butter. Just a little bit, not that much. Okay, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Serving it on a butter knife. Today I'm using Country Crock Calcium with Vitamin D. And I'm using this one because it is gluten free, it has no trans fat, no partially hydrogenated oils, and no cholesterol. So it's a better alternative to butter. But, but, and even better butter than this. It's called Smart Balance, and the ingredients on that one, even the fine print ingredients, are up to my standards on that one. So, if you get a chance, look for the Smart Balance bar. <clears throat> now, I've got my heat on low, and the soy sauce and the butter are cooking in. You're starting to get that really, really fresh, beautiful look to it. See that kind of green leafy texture? You don't want to cook it down much farther than that, so here's where we're gonna 
We're going to take some garlic. These are fresh cloves of garlic. And I tend to be pretty quick with my garlic here. I'm going to get my knife and press it down on the garlic and I'm just going to crush it so that when I crush it the leaf and everything kind of just falls off and crushing it also releases the juice from the garlic so I'll crush that maybe slice it a couple times and toss it in just as it is Let's do another one here and one more I love cooking with garlic garlic has an incredible amount of health benefit it's uh, if you're prone to getting sick a lot then you should probably eat more garlic and when you make your chicken soup make sure you add plenty of garlic to it and a little bit more now don't be afraid on the garlic with this recipe because it is a leafy green it's almost impossible to be too garlicky there we go that'll do so take my my wooden spoon here put the heat back up to medium and just kind of stir it around a little bit Now because the garlic is crushed, the juice from the garlic is going to nicely saturate all that green. Now I'm paying attention to the color because if it gets too dark, then I know that I'm overcooking my spinach. And since I've turned the heat up, I'm going to add my final ingredients. Now the soy sauce, let's add just a little bit more. And at this point, you would let it cook for just a short time longer and you would be done. And that's it. This would be your fresh spinach and kale. And it is so delicious. I mean, it is really good and good for you. And that's the point here. This stuff, you want to get as much of it in you as possible. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add just a little bit of McCormick dillweed. Just a little bit, because I love dill. I'm going to add some lemon and herb seasoning. This is the uh, Fiesta brand. You find this one at HEB also. So I'm just going to dash it on like that, and that's good. And uh, there's also a white wine and garlic butter seasoning. But this I'm not going to add because I usually add it when I make larger portions and I use just a dash of this stuff. But this Adam's Reserve white wine and garlic butter seasoning is the best stuff ever. It's great with chicken or fish. And actually if you use these two together, and uh, I can thank my brother for that recipe. He's the one that showed it to me and told me about it and now I'm sold. So a little bit of uh, Adam's Reserve white wine and garlic butter seasoning and lemon and herb seasoning on a piece of salmon, on a salmon filet you're in heaven. And we'll do that one in a later video, actually. So we can show you how to properly cook the salmon steak. So, I've added my light seasonings here. I'm letting it cook just a little bit longer. And again, keep an eye on that color. Now I want to show you something here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. If you take a look at that, there are a few little dark spots in there. And now that I see that they're starting to get dark and almost a little, a little soggy, I want to take it off the heat and go ahead and put it on my plate. So I'm just going to go ahead. I don't want to waste any of that goodness. There are actually three kinds of kale, well, correction, there are many, many kinds of kale, but there are three primary kinds of kale that you typically find at the supermarket, and that is the uh, red Russian kale, the Tuscan kale, 
and the curly green kale. Now, the curly green kale is the one you most commonly find. That's the one with the ruffles on the leaves. That one tends to be far more bitter than the other two. Whereas the Tuscan kale, which is also known as Cavolo Nero, dinosaur kale, and black kale, tends to be sweeter and nuttier. And the Tuscan kale has a longer leaf to it. So you'll see an oval-shaped longer leaf with light ruffle around the edge. That's the one that you want to find. Of course, if you find the other three forms of it, you'll recognize it by the names that I've just given you, which are Cavolo, ne uh, Cavolo Nero, Dinosaur, and Black Kale. Uh, then there's the Red Russian. The Red Russian Kale is kind of in between the Tuscan Kale and the Curly Green. Say you do like that kind of bitter flavor, you like to add more lemon or some fresh lemon to your kale, then the, uh, but you don't want it to be too bitter, then you would get the Red Russian and add a little bit of lemon to your kale, and you'd be good to go. Now, really quickly here, We are done. Ladies and gentlemen, healthy eats. <laughs> so that color and that consistency, that texture right there, you notice it's not too dark, it's nice and green, you can see your big chunks of fresh garlic in there. The seasoning isn't prominent, it's not covered and drenched in seasoning, because remember, it's about the greens, not the seasons so much. And that's it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, next time we'll be showing you another healthy recipe. We'll be doing the uh, salmon steaks and we're going to be cooking again with the Adam's Reserve white wine and garlic butter seasoning and the lemon and herb seasoning, yes, the seasoning. But any variations of these seasonings will work just as fine. So eating healthy does not have to be a struggle. It doesn't have to be gross. You don't have to suck down shots of wheatgrass all day. Just find your favorite food. Add a little bit of your favorite ingredient, and I'm sure even you guys could do better on the butter than we did today. But the greens, get them in you as much as you can. Health is in your hands, and victory, as always, is yours. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe, click the like button, and we'll see you next time.